Welcome to my storytelling podcast by Hansa Maouya Dara. This video was created as one of the EN340 Computer Assisted Language Learning course requirement taught by Dr. Intisar Al Sharif. The Story of a Short Life, written by me. Once upon a time, in a faraway village, where people were smiling and living their life without worries, nothing could bother these happy people. They sang and danced, helped one another, assured they had a great time. Even if there was something wrong, they believed it is for a reason and not worse to be sad about. They also believed that great days were always ahead to light their darkness. In this happy village, there was a young farmer girl named Ophelia. She had long, dark chocolate hair, eyes as green as olives, and red lips like roses. Her skin was white, with little freckles on her nose. Ophelia was energetic and optimistic. She wore farmer clothes, which she felt comfortable in. She took good care of her plants, like they were her own. She watered them, watched them grow, and sometimes she sang to them. She adored her plants. Taking care of the farm was the one thing to live for since her parents died. It was the last thing they left for her. And ever since, Ophelia lived with her grandparents, Tom and Mindy. They also helped her with the farm. They lived a normal life. One day, Ophelia was doing her farm work. She was collecting eggs from the barn when she heard something coming from outside. It was like someone was whining. She took a look to see who was making such noise in the village. She found out it was a boy. His hair was black like coal. His eyes looked lazy and the skin was so white and pale. He was short. He wore a stained dirty t-shirt and black shorts. He was clearly at his worst. Ugh, when is my life is going to end? said the boy, whining about his life. I can't believe I lived for another day. I hate this life. Ophelia heard the boy and she was shocked. She never heard someone complain about his life in this village. He might have had a hard time. He needed help. Ophelia thought. Then she looked at the boy who walked by her farm. He whined again. Ugh, look at these stinky colored flowers. They should be colorless, miserable. Nothing in this life deserves to be colorful, said the boy. He went to pick the colorful flowers off their roots. Ophelia came up to him and asked with a soft voice. Hi, are you new in this village? The boy looked at her with an uncared face, then looked away and didn't answer. Then he said angrily, I have no village, no family, nothing. Ophelia looked at the boy with, a, with sympathy. How could someone be without a family or no place to live in? She felt curious. But how? She finally asked. The boy, however, looked at Ophelia and was definitely not happy. He looked more sad than he was. Ophelia realized that she made it worse. Maybe her, he lost his family or maybe they left him alone without a home. She felt bad. She thought then that she had to fix it by making his life peaceful without pain. Okay, tell me, what is your name? Ophelia asked curiously. Luther, the boy answered. Nice name you got there, Luther, said Ophelia with a smile. The boy, on the other hand, didn't seem that he cares. Ophelia thought for a moment about the boy's difficult situation. So she tried something that might cheer him up. 
Hey, why don't you see my village? It's nice, and I'm sure you will love it. Ophelia said with excitement. Luther thought for a while. Then he said, But what if I don't? And people hate me there. Ophelia laughed and said, No one will hate you there. They will love you, and I'm sure of that. You just have to act normal. Well, not too normal. Smile. Try to smile. Luther smiled, but his smile looked scary and uncomfortable. Ophelia moved back. She was surprised. She didn't expect that kind of smile. Okay, we will work on that. Just follow me. Ophelia took Luther's hand and went to the village.